The KMUS Engineering Education Project is one of the centers of excellence within the College of Engineering. The concept of the centers of excellence is providing quality engineering education in Africa for Africans. The reason why this is important is that it has been realized that millions of dollars are spent sending Africans to other parts of the world just for postgraduate education. For which reason, the World Bank, collaborating with the governments of Africa, came up with the whole concept of the Centers of Excellence, where various colleges of engineering or various institutions are given the resources to elevate them to that level where the quality of education that people could have gotten outside of Africa, they can acquire same here in Africa. KIP is focused on postgraduate training to develop highly skilled manpower to address developmental challenges in Ghana and in the sub-region. And this is done through our postgraduate programs, as well as developing a strong relationship with industry and academia. We also put a lot of emphasis on practical training, that is internships. And through KIP, we have enrolled 167 PhD students and 505 MSc students. And 58 are from the sub-region. Now, the KMS2 Engineering Education Project is focused on two key areas, digital development and then energy. The reason why digital development is key is because of our response to the fourth industrial revolution. We recognize that the fourth industrial revolution is actually a digital revolution, for which reason, as a college of engineering, we must be seen to be leading the frontiers as far as transforming economies in the digital space is concerned. Currently, we have a lab for AI, we have a lab for renewable energy, we have a lab for power systems, and we have another lab for distributed computing, where we have postgraduate students doing some top-notch and quality research in these areas. Whenever you visit a website or send an email, it goes through an intricate cable system, um, which we call the internet. And it is undergirded by the optical fiber, which forms about 99% of the internet infrastructure. Because of the high demand of bandwidth, uh, owing to recent technological advancements like cloud computing, there is high demand for data traffic, and that puts pressure on the optical communication system, which is required to transmit at very high data rate. Um, at such high data rate, there are inherent impairments which affect the transmission quality. My work was to design a digital signal processing technique which will effectively mitigate this impairment that accumulate as we transmit over the optical fiber. So in the end, we are trying to achieve very fast data transmission, and that translates to having a faster internet at our end. Through the project, we've put up a postgraduate building with classrooms, offices, and laboratories. And the postgraduates, we believe, is what is needed to transform our economies because at the moment, the knowledge economy is very important. Our contribution to the fourth industrial revolution is important. Between 2019 and then 2023, what we have seen is a quantum jump as far as enrollment is concerned in postgraduate education. Additionally, the quality of research that students are doing at the postgraduate level has been significantly enhanced. My research at PhD level focuses on modeling and technical assessment of bifacial solar PV systems in low latitude region using West Africa as a case study. When we say bifacial solar PV models, they are the type of panels that absorb radiation using both sides of the panel. And because they have the ability to absorb radiation using both sides of the panel simultaneously, they yield more energy when you compare it to the conventional panel that absorb radiation using just um, one side. And currently, the, when we talk of the modeling of the PV, this type of PV model 
or the simulation or the field data. They are all located in high latitude region and not much have been done on a low latitude region. So I'm looking at the performance evaluation of this type of panel because the International Technical Roadmap for Photovoltaic Systems have said that the bifacial solar PV models are going to be the next emerging technology, taking a market share of about 85% um, by the year of 2030. We want to be able to do quality education that irrespective of where people are, they want to come to us. And we want to learn from best practices globally. And for which reason, we are in collaboration with MIT, we are in collaboration with Worcester Polytechnic Institute, which is also in Boston. We are collaborating with institutions like Harvard, Technical University of Munich, and some of the top-notch universities globally. So when our students come in, we create an avenue through which they are able to interact with students in other parts of the world, with the hope that through their interaction, they are able to learn together and we are able to enhance engineering education. Um, because the key project is an international project, I've been able to network with people from other parts of Africa and because of the multicultural dynamics that I've been exposed to, I believe it's an opportunity for me not to, just to solve the energy crisis in Nigeria, but also to extend my solution to other parts of Africa. The opportunity afforded me by KEEP has, first of all, ignited my passion to look into research in areas of the development challenges of our country, Ghana. Um, specifically the application of digital technologies like artificial intelligence in areas such as agriculture, in areas such as energy systems and healthcare delivery. I believe that with the skills I have gained so far, um, it would help me professionally so that I can also make substantial contribution to the development of the country. With industry and alumni, we've established our endowment fund which we believe will help sustain the project because the project is ending in December. We're praying that there will be an opportunity to extend the project. And in addition to that, we have established the endowment fund to help us continue recruiting postgraduate students in order for us to do our work. The endowment fund was launched in October last year and so far we've been able to raise about 5 million Ghana cities. The KNUSC Engineering Education Project is very grateful to our benefactors who have come in to support us as far as the endowment fund is concerned. We have a target of 20 million cities, out of which currently we have 5 million cities. That comes from 2 million cities having been donated by VRA and 1 million cities having been donated by Great Co. We have had other corporate organizations and individuals as well as year groups who graduated from the College of Engineering come in to support us. The KNUST Engineering Education Project KEEP has been very instrumental in my education, especially at the graduate level. Um, KEEP has provided me with the financial support, uh, first of all, to pursue the MPhil in computer engineering. Um, so my tuition and funds for research were covered by KEEP, and so I didn't have to worry about money. Um, apart from that, there were a series of workshops and trainings which um, helped me immensely. Um, so I owe a lot to KEEP for my research work. First, I would like to appreciate KEEP for their support for female students, especially the women with children. Because as a mom, I needed that balance to be a researcher and also be able to cater for my kids. Coming from Nigeria, in the beginning I was very worried, but it was a huge relief for me when I realized that my accommodation for myself had been sorted out even before I got to Ghana. I'm going to be a first generation in my family with a PhD in sustainable energy. And my vision is to be part of the indigenous renewable energy experts in Africa. 
exploring the use of renewable energy to um, provide energy for communities, rural areas without access to electricity. The focus is providing quality engineering education in Africa for Africans. And this we can do by bringing all hands on deck. And today is an invitation that we are extending to you to be part of this success story. Thank you.